J.K. Rowling From an early age, J.K. Rowling had the ambition to be a writer. She often tried her hand at writing, although little came from her early efforts. In her autobiography, she remembers with great fondness when her good friend Sean became the first person to give her the confidence that she would be able to make a very good writer one day. Sean was also the owner of a battered old Fort Anglia, which would later appear in one of the Harry Potter series as a flying car. In 1991, J.K. Rowling left England to get a job as an English teacher in Portugal, where she met her first husband, Jorge Arantes, and together they had a child, Jessica. After a couple of years, the couple split after a fierce argument, where by all accounts, J.K. Rowling was thrown out of the house. Harry Potter. It was in 1990 that J.K. Rowling first conceived of the idea about Harry Potter. It was on a long train journey from Manchester to London when she began forming in her mind the characters of the series. The train was delayed for over four hours, and she didn't have a pen and was too shy to ask for one. On arriving at her flat in Clapham Junction, she began work on writing the book immediately. In December of 1990, that J.K. Rowling also lost her mother, who died of multiple sclerosis. J.K. Rowling was very close to her mother, and she felt the loss deeply. Her own loss gave an added poignancy to the death of Harry Potter's mother in her book. She says her favorite scene in The Philosopher's Stone is, The Mirror of Her Eyes, where Harry sees his parents in the mirror. In December 1993, Rowling returned to the UK, moving to Edinburgh to finish her first book. She was surviving on state benefits and bringing up her daughter as a single parent. She would often go to Edinburgh cafes to work on the book while her child had a nap. She finished her first copy of The Philosopher's Stone and sent it off to various agents. She found an agent, Christopher, who spent over a year trying to get a publisher. Twelve major publishing houses rejected it. Eventually, a pretty small publisher, Bloomsbury, agreed to take the book on. The editor Barry Cunningham also decided to pay her in advance. Within a few weeks of publication in 1996, book sales started to take off. She also received a grant from the Scottish Arts Council, which enabled her to write full-time. In 1998, Warner Bros. secured the film rights to the books, giving a seven-figure sum. The films have magnified the success of the books, making Harry Potter one of the most recognizable media products. Under the close guidance of J.K. Rowling, the films have sought to stay close to the original plot. Also, at J.K. Rowling's request, all the actors are British and are filmed in Britain. On 21 December 2006, J.K. Rowling finished her final book of the Harry Potter series, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Amazon. The book was released in July 2007, becoming one of the fastest-selling books of all time. Lessons from J.K. Rowling Make the best of every situation. Whatever your rock bottom is, you will be able to turn it all around. No matter what you have done or what you are going through, it is never too late to pursue your dream and go for it. Take responsibility. Sometimes it is hard to admit that no matter what someone did to you, or what your background is, there comes a time that you can hold no one else responsible for outcomes but yourself. You are more than the things you did or did not do. No matter how many degrees you have, your qualifications are not you or your life. It is good if you are well educated, but don't let it define you or how you treat the people around you. Success is not measured by the number of qualifications you have. It is all about attitude. Focus on things that are important to you and be yourself. Thank you for watching the video. Do like and subscribe for daily updates.